Hiring an attorney can be a costly endeavor, and for many people, the cost of legal representation can be a significant concern. While it is difficult to provide a straightforward answer to the question of how much an attorney costs, there are several factors that can impact the overall cost of legal representation. A scale with money on one side and a gavel on the other, symbolizing the cost of an attorney's services, one of the most significant factors that can impact the cost of an attorney is the type of legal matter involved. For example, a simple traffic ticket may only require a few hours of an attorney's time and cost a few hundred dollars, while a complex commercial litigation case could require hundreds of hours of work and cost tens of thousands of dollars. Additionally, the location of the attorney can also impact the cost of legal representation, with attorneys in larger cities typically charging higher rates than those in smaller towns. Another factor that can impact the cost of legal representation is the experience and reputation of the attorney. More experienced attorneys may charge higher rates than those who are just starting out, while attorneys with a strong reputation in their field may also charge more for their services. However, it is important to note that a higher price tag does not necessarily equate to better legal representation and clients should always do their research before hiring an attorney. Factors influencing attorney costs. When it comes to hiring an attorney, the cost can vary widely depending on several factors. Here are some of the key factors that can influence attorney costs. Experience and expertise. An attorney's level of experience and expertise can have a significant impact on their fees. Generally, more experienced attorneys will charge higher fees than less experienced ones. This is because experienced attorneys have a deeper understanding of the law and can provide more effective representation. Traditionally, attorneys with specialized expertise in certain areas of law, such as tax law or intellectual property law, may charge higher fees due to the specialized knowledge required. In case complexities, the complexity of a case can also affect attorney costs. Cases that are more complex and require more time and resources to resolve will generally result in higher fees. For example, a case involving multiple parties or complex legal issues may require more research and preparation than a simpler case. Geographical location. Attorney costs can also vary depending on the geographical location of the attorney. Attorneys in large cities or affluent areas may charge higher fees due to the higher cost of living in those areas. Additionally, attorneys in areas with a high demand for legal services may charge more due to the increased competition for their services. Billing methods. Finally, the billing method used by an attorney can also impact their fees. Attorneys may charge hourly rates, flat fees or contingency fees where the attorney receives a percentage of any settlement or judgment obtained. Each billing method has its own advantages and disadvantages, and clients should carefully consider which method is best for their particular case. Overall, the cost of hiring an attorney can vary widely depending on several factors. By understanding these factors and carefully considering their options, clients can make informed decisions about which attorney to hire and how to manage their legal expenses. Understanding legal fees when it comes to hiring an attorney, one of the biggest concerns for clients is the cost. Legal fees can vary significantly depending on the type of case, the attorney's experience, and the location. It is important for clients to understand the different types of legal fees and how they are charged. Consultation fees. Many attorneys offer an initial consultation for free or at a reduced rate. During this meeting, the attorney will evaluate the case and provide advice on how to proceed. If the client decides to hire the attorney, they will typically be charged an hourly rate or a flat fee for ongoing services. Contingency fees. In some cases, attorneys may work on a contingency fee basis. This means that the attorney only gets paid if the client wins the case or receives a settlement. The attorney's fee is typically a percentage of the amount awarded. Contingency fees are common in personal injury cases and other types of civil litigation. Flat fees vs. Hourly rates. Attorneys may charge a flat fee for certain types of legal services, such as drafting a will or handling a simple traffic violation. This means that the client pays a set amount for the entire service. 
regardless of how much time the attorney spends on the case. For more complex cases, attorneys may charge an hourly rate. This means that the client pays for the attorney's time, typically in increments of 15 or 30 minutes. Retainer fees. Some attorneys require clients to pay a retainer fee up front. This is a deposit that the attorney uses to cover their time and expenses as they work on the case. The retainer fee is typically based on the attorney's hourly rate and the estimated amount of time needed to handle the case. As the attorney works on the case, they will deduct their fees from the retainer. If the retainer runs out, the client may be required to pay additional fees. In conclusion, understanding legal fees is an important part of hiring an attorney. Clients should ask about the attorney's fee structure up front and make sure they are comfortable with the cost before moving forward. By understanding the different types of legal fees and how they are charged, clients can make informed decisions about their legal representation.